Hello and welcome my dear friends. Welcome to another fountain pen review. This is a modern luxury fountain pen. I bought it recently. It is used and you will see it's not in a perfect condition. You will see it has a small issue but um, I did not pay a large sum of money. First of all, let me tell you the model. It is the Aurora 88 big version, the new designed uh, famous Aurora 88. And it cost me 800 lace, the equivalent of 161 euros or 172.13 US dollars. The seller was kind enough um, to let me have it and um, I will pay two equal installments of 400 lace. So approximately 80.50 euros or 86.07 US dollars. And at this price, I said to myself that I have to have this wonderful, wonderful pen. This particular pen comes in this outer box. It's a cardboard box, quite shiny. Right over here we have Aurora made in Italy. It opens like this and it reveals a wonderful velvet type box. Aurora written right over here and this is the wonderful wonderful pen the Nuova or the new Aurora 88 this is not the simple version of it the simple version is black but this is um, the version with a metallic cap and the cap is gold plated right over here we can see a little cardboard piece and right over here we have Penino Oro Masiccio 14 carats probably uh, fountain pen massive gold 14 carats and um, guys if we open the box we can see the um, warranty and some uh, manual for nu the Nuova 88 Aurora. We will get to that in a minute. Let me show you this wonderful pen. This is quite, quite elegant. Um, of course, probably some of you prefer a classic look to the pen, all black uh, all black fountain pen but um, when I uh, first looked at it this wonderful gold plating this um, gold look to the cap in the cost contrast with the black of the body it gives it a note of elegance and distinction when I first saw it the first thing it came to my mind was, of course, the Mont Blanc 146. And uh, I know this is the review of the Italian Aurora 88, but I had to start the review by showing you the similar features of those two fountain pens. You must know that this Aurora is a modern design of a classic by Aurora, Aurora 88. And um, I will leave some videos in uh, the top corner of the screen because I've reviewed previous versions of the Aurora 88. In fact, the Aurora 88 is a design well back from the late 1940s and the beginning of the 1950s and back then the Parker 51 was uh, quite popular fountain pen and uh, the first Aurora 88 had a hooded nib. The modern reinterpretation 
it has this open nib, a beautiful 14 karat open nib. It has an ink window here and it is a piston filler. Okay, before I will get into the details and we will see some interesting features of this particular fountain pen, let me show you the leaflet and it contains very nice information about this particular fountain pen and I wanted to share those information with you. I believe it's available in different languages. Right here I have the warranty card, yes the warranty card it looks like this let me sh show you what it reads on the back so this in italian in english and in french i will uh, read to you in english ever since 1919 aurora has been creating top quality writing instruments and accessories we remind you that this product is guaranteed for five years against any defective materials and workmanship so the warranty card guys and now the leaflet that contains information about this product and of course the first page um, yes instructioni warranty in italian in english operating instructions and warranty and in french Se più storia in un aurora. I'm not so sure if I translate correctly, but uh, it is more than a story in uh, an aurora piece. Okay. So right here we have in Italian. And uh, let me skip for you to see where we have in English the translation. No, I believe that this, yes, this is it. And why not, guys, let me try to read what we have right over here. A little zoom. Aurora was born in 1919. Since that date, the most significant pages of the history of modern handwriting have been written with pens made in Via della Basilica, Aurora's historical former headquarters in the heart of Turin. As we did then, our writing instruments today represent the perfect point of encounter between the captivating artisan workmanship of the many stages involved in manufacturing and testing and the extraordinary precision of modern technology. Amit returns. When a pen surpasses the role of simple writing tool to become an object of veneration, there it is no longer enough to speak of precision, fluid writing and artisan attention to details. When a pen becomes the Aurora 88, the most successful Italian fountain pen, then we have to talk about a status symbol, an object which describes the personality of whoever uses and makes a gift of it. This is why we recreated the Aurora 88. The Aurora 88 is a legend, the legendary tradition in writing. Okay, guys, let me show you what we have here. Made in Aurora. A pen created by Aurora is a tool which is born from the hands of man. Every single piece, after it has passed strict scrutiny, is assembled manually, right down to the detail final control. And now what we are interesting. Instructions for what... And now what we are interested in, instructions for the best use of your Aurora 88. Your Aurora 88 does not need special care. It is enough to wash it through with warm water every time you change ink color or if the ink should stop flowing. If you travel by plane or by car, where the pen will be submitted to extreme changes of temperature of pressure or pressure keep your aura 88 vertical with the cap upright 
If you bear this little advice in mind, your Aura 88 will be your faithful writing companion throughout your life. So if you take care of your fountain pen, it should serve you your whole lifetime. Filling your fountain pen. So the first and some pictures here. Unscrew the cap, turn the end anti-clockwise as far as it will go. Dip the nib completely in the ink and turn the end clockwise back to its starting position. At this point, turn the end anti-clockwise again to expel four drops of um, ink. Return the end to its original position. Dry with a soft cloth to absorb any surplus ink on the nib. So here are the instructions. And what is interesting about this pen, it has also a special reserve of ink. One more page with the reservoir. A fountain pen like the Aurora 88 will never leave you dry. When the ink stops flowing and you can see from the transparent section then uh, that the ink is running out, use the special hidden reservoir device. Your Aurora 88 will keep on writing. So the first uh, thing you notice is the lack of ink flow. Then you unscrew it like this. So this is the instruction. When the pen stops writing, the fig figure A, turn the end anti-clockwise as far as it will go. Picture B. And the 88 will write another page. So it should be good for another page. You can leave the end turned to remind you to fill the pen with ink with Aurora ink of course okay guys let me see if we have some other information yes about the ink the specially studied ink for the Aurora 88 comes in a variety of colors and can be found in the best shops the use of other inks such as drawing or indelible inks could permanently impair the operation of the pen the nibs Aura 88 offers you a choice of several nibs. Your dealer will advise you as uh, far as the most suitable for your hand and your handwriting. And I believe it's available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and also some uh, interesting oblique ones. Uh, in this case, you will see I have an M nib, M for medium. Now the instructions of the ballpoint pen, because it's available also as a ballpoint pen and uh, of course as a mechanical pencil, roller and a mechanical pencil, let me see, yes this is the pencil, and uh, yes this is in French practically the same information. And let me see if we have something, the warranty, and uh, the address of um, the dealers in uh, Turin, Italy, and in France. So this is the little leaflet, guys, the Novo 88 by Aurora. It was quite important for me to show you this piece because it reveals some very interesting information about uh, the history of the Aurora 88. Of course, they had to come up with a design to match the glory of uh, this wonderful, wonderful pen. And interesting enough, I always see this pen as a direct competitor of the Mont Blanc 146 and I've shown you the features of uh, both fountain pens. This uh, seems to be a little bigger than the 146 and if we put it side by side strangely this is a little bit longer but this has a uh, feeling uh, of uh, a fatter cap if i can say like this so let me show you this one 
um, maybe it will be good to see also uh, the Mont Blanc. I'm sorry, this has a little problem. This Mont Blanc, it uh, it uh, has a bad seal, but and sometimes the uh, ink flows. But I wanted to show them to you side by side the ink window of the 146 and the ink window of our Aurora 88. This has a little stain of it and this is the defect of this fountain pen. But I will uh, talk about this in uh, a moment. I wanted to show you both nibs side by side. Of course on the Mont Blanc is an 18 carats nib because it was made for especially for the French market. Interesting design, the top of the nib and of course the feeder. And um, if I'm not mistaken this has a plastic feeder and this is ebonite at the Aurora. Okay, so enough with the small comparison with the Mont Blanc as a curiosity the cap fits the Mont Blanc of course you can't uh, place it like this but uh, uh, it fits I'm curious enough to see if I can fit the cap I hope I won't damage the nib but I will do it let's see no so definitely a large cap on the Aurora 88 uh, and uh, this accommodates the Mont Blanc but not the Aurora 88. Okay, let me put it like this. I will get rid of the Mont Blanc 146 and now let's return to our fountain pen. So this is a used Aurora 88. In this particular case, this has a personalization right over here on the cap. Let me see if I can show it to you in a better zoom. Yes. And uh, you can see here F E G C. Uh, and I believe it's um, Federazione Italiana di Gioco di Calcio, which means the uh, soccer or the football Italian federation. Uh, I googled it and uh, this logo appeared. So, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I love when I can uh, find in the wild a personalized piece because it um, gives me information about the history of that particular fountain pen. So in this case, this was a very, very important writing instrument used by the Italian Soccer or Football Federation and probably was uh, gifted to an important person or uh, to their um, collaborators. I'm not so sure. But again this is an italian piece and it was used and in an italian institution so very very nice now let me return to the part when i will show its defect it is in immaculate condition but the only problem is this guys and i wanted to show you when you look at this ink window, you can see some slightly discoloration. And if we look closer, we can see some white residue right over there. I'm not so sure about the history, but I think that at one point this was broken or something like that. And someone used a little quantity of super glue or some adhesive and it did the job well uh, i tested it with water and uh, we don't have the ink uh, leaks or water leaks but as you can see this particular adhesive has affected the transparency of the ink window and it has this uh, aspect not a great aspect of course when you fill it with ink uh, i think it will uh, 
look quite uh, nice but this was uh, the only defect uh, or the wrong thing that I saw with it but I said to myself for this price range I will be a fool not to uh, acquire this fountain pen okay guys so I've um, shown you the pen and um, I will leave its dimensions on the screen uh, for you to have an idea of the um, measurements of this beautiful Italian pen. And now I want to show you the pen in detail. So for this, I will zoom out, uh, zoom in, sorry. So this is a classic cigar shape pen. Of course, it reminds me of the classic design of the Mont Blanc. We have here a dome ending of the cap. This is very, very nice. And uh, the cap is striated. It has this pattern. This is a personalization, quite well made. Uh, you can see engraved directly on the cap quite quite nice the clip is very very elegant and it ends in this teardrop quite quite nice i'm not so sure how practical it is so i will test it quite a rigid one you can see quite rigid but i guess it does its job at the base of the cap we have uh, engraved aurora and that's it guys the cap unscrews like this and it reveals the ink window and the grip section the grip section is uh, quite nice it has uh, this ending right over here so quite uh, nice and comfortable grip to it and of course the wonderful wonderful nib guys it uh, should uh, let me see zoom on it 14 carat and um, it looks quite quite nice 14 carat on the back um to be noted before i will go to the feeder this has an interesting design this nib quite quite narrow at the point and I'm curious enough how it will write at the back we have the ebonite feeder curious enough we have an M here I saw on the internet different variation when the M was 19% uh, um, angled and it was written right over here a nice uh, touch guys um, if I did not see this M here, I thought to myself, uh, based on the point that it is an extra fine or a fine nib, but no, this is a medium nib. Of course, it is a piston filler. Let me show you the mechanism, like this, and you will see the ending of the piston. It needs... A little bit of work but this means that we have a generous reservoir of ink and here it is oh sorry this is the water but uh, it uh, is also transparent made out of uh, plastic definitely I it left some more water inside of it so probably the ink uh, will uh, be slightly discolorated we will see about that no worries and this is it guys so now i'm ready to do the writing sample and i'm sure you are all curious about how this wonderful wonderful pen writes this is the meaning of the pen it's a status symbol but also a instrument of um, writing so before I will do that, I will change the angle of the camera and then I will continue the video. So I've changed the angle of the camera, guys. This is 
the pan. I will put it right over here. And um, I have uh, the Parker ink, but I also have a Mont Blanc ink. I'm sorry, I don't have uh, Aurora ink. Not available in my town. And uh, for this, I don't know. The Royal Blue or the Parker Quick uh, Ink Blue. I'm not so sure. I think I will use the Parker Ink. And we'll see if I have sufficient uh, amount of ink. Because you can see it is uh, down to the ending. Of course, the Mont Blanc is practical but we, because we can put it like this. Eh, we'll see. So I will try first with the Parker and uh, then uh, we will try the Royal Blue. But I think that the Parker will do the job. So let me put the Mont Blanc right over here. Okay. And uh, I have here my notepad and strangely enough it opened right to the Aurora Optima Azzurro. Uh, I've done uh, the writing sample right here and why not I will put it here to compare it and I believe that was an extra fine nib. This is an end nib but uh, we will see how it does. Okay. So before I will open the ink bottle, always I put down a little piece of cloth to, uh, let's say, to not have uh, incidents like this. Okay. Oh, this ink bottle is quite hard to open. Okay. So first of all, let me work the piston, okay, I will insert it like this guys, and now I will fit it, um, practically for you to see better, like this, I'm turning the knob. And quite, quite nice, I think. Okay. Okay. So before I will uh, start using it, I will uh, follow the instructions. So anti-clockwise until one drop is spilled. Let me see. One, two, three, and now in the other side so i will use the cloth to clean it especially the grip section so what i was talking to you about is this fix over here and let me see if it will zoom so definitely we can see something here some glue or something to it what a shame, maybe it was um, broken in two pieces and somebody did this uh, job to it. What a shame, guys. But believe me, I don't have the money to buy one in a perfect condition. But I think this will... Uh, will stand the test of time, even though the repair is done in this way I'm not so sure and what a shame that this was affected you can see here probably I don't know if this can be uh, repaired to its former glory but it is what it is guys now let's return to the writing sample some of you out there think that I I can get great deals, but sometimes uh, I get those great deals because the fountain pens, they are not in a perfect condition. But in my point of view, I think I did not uh, do wrong here. 
especially when the seller was kind enough to offer me this wonderful, wonderful piece in uh, two equal installments. So, let me see what we have here. Uh, a little zoom, of course, will be in order. Let's see, like this, probably. Okay. This is the Aurora. Okay, let's put this here. Sorry, guys, I will uh, show you the other sample. But now let's focus on this. Aurora. 88. A little zoom. Zoom on it. Okay. Aurora 88. The big one. Or the Nuovo. Nova, Nova, or the Nova version of it. Okay, let's see. Now it's better. Aurora 88 Big Nova. Um, okay, fitted with a 14 carat massive gold nib and M for a medium. This is, of course, made in Italy. And it is a wonderful, wonderful luxury pen. Okay, like this. Now, I want to show you the nib. So, the properties of the nib. And the first one, we will see if we have a flexible nib. And I can't uh, uh, tell you it is a flexible nib, no flex, but it certainly has some variations right over here. Uh, you will call it a loose of ink flow, but not, not, there is a little bit variation of it. And uh, in this sense, I will see if we have some difference when I put pressure on the nib. So right here, I don't put pressure on the nib. And here I start applying pressure. So definitely we have a little, little, a little line variance. And I was expecting of this because uh, you can see how it uh, performed right over there. It seems to be like a juicy, juicy nib, and it is. Look at it. And being a juicy nib, it should do the signatures quite, quite well. And you can see it does quite nice at the signatures. Now I'm curious to see if it can reverse right. Then I will see it. I will write here. So, I'm sorry, I, I need to zoom on it. Little zoom, okay. So, let me see. Reverse writing. Unfortunately, no, no reverse writing. Uh, it really loses its ink flow when you try to reverse write with it. But look at the distance between the feeder and the ending of the nib. I guess it does its job as long as you write with it normally. So no reverse writing. Mm. Now let me tell you about the quick brown fox. So I will write over here. So the quick brown fox jumps okay over the lazy dog 
so what can I say guys a very very smooth uh, writer this is uh, the other piece that I have from Aurora of course different nib this is a 14 karat nib and that was an 18 karat nib on extra fine versus a medium one what I've noticed about Aurora is the fact that even though it is a medium one it writes like a fine one and um, probably when I will have the occasion I will try to find a broad nib or an oblique nib from Aurora to see what um, this uh, uh, what change will uh, that do so guys uh, this was the review of the Aurora 88 is certainly a classic looking fountain pen and stay tuned on my channel because I will do a comparison between this model and the Mont Blanc model so two beautiful beautiful pants certainly this is a little bit fatter than the 146 but bear in mind that the 146 is a design from the 1950s and this is a modern redesign so probably the Italians took some little things from the success of the Mont Blanc but they certainly uh, knew how to apply them in a better looking way this is an elegant piece in my point of view a simple piece but um, it could be a real competitor of the classic Mont Blanc 146 you can't go wrong with a Mont Blanc all black 146 it's suitable for every occasion but this is a little bit of a flashier um, let's say um, beautiful Italian um, design piece so this was uh, its uh, review guys I want to thank you for your time I want to wish you to have a nice day guys have a nice day my dear friends wherever you are I will see you again in the next episode, till then, bye bye, and God bless you all my dear friends.